Now, good morning, children. Day before yesterday, I explained chapter number one, the owls in the family. Now, I am continuing the next chapter, next paragraph. So, listen carefully. Page number eighteen, second paragraph. The little owlet was quite happy under my bed. The following day. A second owlet was found in almost the same place on the veranda, and only then did we realize that where the rainwater pipe emerged through the roof, there was a rough shot of nest from which the birds had fallen. We took the second young owl to join the first and fed them both. Fed them means to give gave them some food. When I went to bed, they were on the ledge, just inside the mosquito netting, and later in the night, their mother found them there. From outside, she crooned. Croon means make a low sound like humming, and gurgled. Gurgled means hollow sound like made by water running out of bottle for a long time. And in the morning, I found that she had left a mouse. With its tail tucked through the mosquito net, she must have thinking that my children they were hungry, so she left a mouse there. Obviously, she did not trust us to look after them. The young birds grew well, and ten days later, at dawn. Grandfather and I took them into the garden to release them. I had placed one on a branch of the mango tree, and was stooping to pick up the other when I received the narrator was saying, as when he was picking that the owl, what he received. A quite a heavy blow on the back of my head means a loud sound. A second or two later, the mother owl swooped down at grandfather. Means to fly down, to fly move down suddenly, and you can say Hindi me chapatta marna. Okay. Grandfather, but he was agile. Agile means able to move quickly, enough to duck out of its way. Quickly, I said. I placed the second owl under the mango tree. Then, from a safe distance, we watched the mother fly down and lead her young ones into the long grass. At the edge of the garden, we thought she would take her family away from the surrounding of rather strange household. But next morning, on coming out of my room, I found two young owl standing on the wall, just. Outside the door, I ran to tell grandfather, and when we came back, we found the mother sitting on the bird bath ten yards away. I got the feeling that she was sorry for her behavior the previous day because. She greeted us with a soft woo. Now, 
there's an unselfish mother for you said grandfather it's obvious she liked them to have a good home and they probably getting a bit too big for her to manage so the true owlets become became regular member of a household and strangely enough were among the few pets that grandfather took a liking to in fact the owls became so attached to grandmother that they began to show affection towards anyone in a pet coat including aunt mabel who was terrified of them terrified means she she was very scared of she would run shrieking from the room every time one of the birds went close to her in a friendly manner now next page in response to grand mother voice the owlets would make sound as gentle and soothing as the purring of a cat but when wild owls were around owls would disturb the night with terrible shrieks their nightly occupation was catching beetles with which the kitchen quarters were infested infested means full of beetles at the time with their sharp eyes and powerful beaks they were excellent pest dest- destroyers the owls loved to sit and splash in a shallow dish especially if cold water was poured over them from a jug at the same time they would get thoroughly wet jump out on the perch shake themselves then return for a second splash and sometimes a third also looking back on those owlish days i carry in my mind a picture of grandmother with a contented look in a rocking chair once on entering her room while she was having an afternoon nap nap means take a sound sleep i saw that one of the owls had crawled up her pillow till its head was snuggled under her ears both grandmother and the little owl was snoring snoring mean sleeping okay snoring that is means a fast sleep